in the harshly controlled federal society governed for over 250 years by the descendants of Tokugawa Ieyasu. Creativity came not from its leaders, a conservative military class, but from the two lower classes in the Confucian social hierarchy, the artisans and the merchants. In urban Edo, which assumed a distinctive character with its revival after a devastating fire in 1657, a witty irreverent expression surfaced in the literary and visual arts, giving rise to the kabuki theater and the well-known woodblock prints of the floating world, or the ukiyo-e. Today, we are going to talk about the floating world, the ukiyo-e. What is the floating world? According to David Waterhouse. Ukiyo-e could mean either floating world or sad, troublesome world, and of course, e refers to the picture. Ukiyo-e did not originally boast forth as full color pictures. The earliest prints from the beginning of the 16,000s were impressions only in black ink. The Masame Gami paper used was replaced by Hosho, a luxury, thick, soft absorbent paper that took up the pigments well. This stood the repeated rubbing of the baron and allowed the deep impressions of the blind printing blocks. And because of the possibility of reproducing copies from one set of block, ukiyo-e was quite cheap in Edo period. There are some rich themes of ukiyo-e, like famous actor in their celebrated role, demon and monsters, landscape and calendar. Here comes some famous ukiyo-e work in Edo time. Gaifu Keisai, which means fun wind, clear morning, created by Katsushika Hokusai, was one of his 36 view of Mount Fuji series. Red Fuji was the most famous one. Katsushika Hokusai's another popular work is the Great Wave of Kanagawa, which has become one of the most recognized Japanese art among the world. The image depicts an enormous wave threatening three boats off the coast of the town, where Mount Fuji rises in the background. Other than Katsushika Hokusai, another representative ukiyo-e artist has to be Yutagawa Hiroshige. He was considered to be the last ukiyo-e master. This is one of his work in his series, 100 Famous Way of Edo. And this is how the place looks like now. The next one, sudden shower over Shen Ohashi Bridge and Ataki, another one from Hiroshige's 100 famous Vail Oedo. Due to the opening up of Japan after 1853, Ukiyo-e were both popular in Japan and Europe, where they had a huge influence on the future Impressionist artists. This is a copy drawn by the great Dutch artist Vincent Willem van Gogh. He was heavily influenced by this prince, particularly Hiroshige. There are some other great ukiyo-e artists like Tsukiuka Yoshitoshi. He was famous by his erotic art style. And this is his magnum opus, Hugo in the Tile of Genji. Nowadays, Ukiyo-e is not only a form of artist, but also bring great influence on Japanese culture, and usually been presented somehow in other forms. This is an animation in Ukiyo-e style named Mononoki. Please enjoy. Thanks for watching.